Hey, it's Chris from crispycancer.com and today I've got a really cool video that we're doing on rebounding and the best exercise for your lymphatic system, especially if you have cancer. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter if you have cancer, this is an awesome exercise for anyone. A real quick thing about the lymphatic system before we get started. Uh, if you don't know what it is, basically you have three times more lymphatic fluid than you do blood. Your lymphatic system is like the interstate for your white blood cells and that's your body's main detoxification system. And so what happens is your cardiovascular system, your blood vessels, take nutrients to all your cells and your lymphatic system is responsible for removing metabolic waste and toxins from your body. But here's the problem. Your lymphatic system does not have a pump. It's not like your cardiovascular, your cardiovascular system. So the only way to move the fluid in your lymphatic system is through muscle contractions. So when you get out of bed, when you walk to your car, any movement you make throughout the day, uh, any muscle movement is um, encouraging the lymphatic fluid to move along in the lymphatic system. So uh, that's why exercise is so important. Uh, because it moves your lymph system. Now one of the best exercises, if not the best exercise for your lymphatic system, is rebounding. Other good exercises would be walking, jumping rope, jumping jacks, uh, you know, running and jogging short distances, going to the gym. All of those are good for the lymph system, but the best, and I'm not the only one who thinks this, <laughs> is the rebounder. And the reason is is because you're using G-forces. And when you jump on a rebounder, you're, you're, going, you're defying gravity, you're going against gravity, and every cell, every muscle in your body is uh, expanding and contracting as you jump. So anyway, I'm gonna give you a quick demo on the rebounder. Uh, this is something I did every day when I had cancer, sometimes several times a day. It's super easy, you can do it in your house. Uh, you can do it in a very easy way where you don't even break a sweat, or you can really, really work it hard and break a sweat, depending on your situation. Uh, so if you wanna get a really good sweaty workout in, which is the best, you can do that, but if you just wanna move your lymph system without having to go change clothes <laughs> in the middle of the day, you can also do it that way too. So, all right, I'm gonna put this together real quick and then we'll kinda of do a little demo. By the way, what a great setting to be able to do this. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> one more thing before I jump on it. Um, if you saw my video interview with Wade Lightheart, Wade has a really great acronym for health, and it's the Awesome Health System. The first four letters in that acronym, the word awesome, is air, water, exercise, and sunlight. Those are really, really critical to health. And um, I try to get air, fresh air, with deep breathing, um, clean water, sunlight, and exercise every day. Well, you can get three of those things in one with rebounding. So what I do every morning is you start with what's called the health bounce. So the health bounce is my feet really aren't even leaving the mat. And this is all you need to do to move your lymph system on a rebounder. And you can do this for an hour. But the thing is you don't have to do it for an hour. Really you can do it for about seven to 10 minutes uh, is all you need to do three times a day. Now, um, if you're sick or if you have some aches and pains or some injuries, you'll wanna start really easy. So you just start with the health bounce. Uh, if, you, if you start to do this and you find that it hurts too bad in, in certain areas, like I started doing this after I had surgery and I was very sensitive in this area, so I had to take it very easy and I would just barely bounce on it, really light. But another thing you can do, is you, if you can't, for some reason, if you, if you can't do your legs, you can really just sit on it and bounce. This still moves your lymph system. It's not as effective as standing, but it's better than nothing. So start with the health bounce. This was my basic workout, it's seven minutes. I would do this for two minutes. Then I would move to uh, the what they call the strength bounce, which is just jumping high. This takes a little getting used to because um, you just gotta have to work on your balance. At first, when you start jumping high, you might find yourself, oh, like, you know, falling off of the rebounder or whatever, but 
uh, you get better at it over time. So I would do the health bounce for two minutes, then I'd do the strength bounce for three minutes. All right, put the headphones on. Uh, I would put on some, uh, I alternate between some worship music or some healing scriptures or just, you know, whatever I'm in the mood to do. Sometimes I just, uh, just think or meditate or pray. And then I would cool down with another two minutes doing the health bounce. So, I mean, that's super easy, super simple. Anybody can do it. Now, you can do that without even breaking a sweat. I'm outside, it's kind of hot. I'm already a little bit sweaty. You do it inside, you can do that for seven minutes and not sweat. Now, the way I, I like to do it, first thing in the morning, I'll set my rebounder up outside, so I'm breathing fresh air, getting morning sun, so, you, you know, <laughs> if your neighbors aren't watching or if you have a little privacy, you know, you can uh, take your shirt off or women can work out in a halter top or whatever and get, uh, get some vitamin D sunlight on your skin. And then at, as I'm warming up, I'll just take some deep breaths to get the fresh air and really oxygenate my body. So just take a deep breath. Uh, usually breathe in for about three or four seconds, hold it in for two or three seconds, and then push it out for another you know, two to four seconds. So it's basically like this. Do that 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. I'll, I'll, what I'll find is I'll end up doing it, I'll lose count, I'll just keep deep breathing as I'm doing this and it just, you know, oxygenates your brain and your body and it's, it's, um, deep breathing is just awesome for you. So, so you're getting fresh air, sunlight, and exercise all at the same time. Now, uh, some more advanced rebounding techniques, and by the way, they sell uh, videos with rebound workouts and all kinds of cool stuff like that. There's even gyms that have rebound classes. You may have one in your city. But this is my quick routine. I'm not gonna do the full workout because it'd take too long, but I just wanna run through some of the different things I do. So I'll do a little warm up for a couple minutes. Then I'll, uh, I'll do the strength bounce for a few minutes. Now my typical rebounder workout is about 15 minutes now. That's what I like to do. And uh, I've gone a lot longer, depending on my how I'm feeling and what I have to do. Now at that time of the day, I may go longer, but I like to go about 15 minutes. So you can do the strength bounce. You can run in place. So I'll do this for a minute or two. And I like to alternate with high knees and then what they call butt kickers, you know, behind you. Like this. Jumping jacks are really good for the lymph system because you're really moving your arms arms, legs, your, your whole body. Then you can just kind of like, you know, make up stuff as you go, twisting, do stuff with one leg, work on that, on your leg strength. And this is, again, this is stuff you can try. You may have to work up to some of it if you're not really strong and your, uh, your uh, balance isn't very good, but it'll get better the longer you do it. You know, so holding your leg out, doing it, you know, alternating legs, doing stuff like that. The goofier the better, really. It doesn't really doesn't matter what you do on it. Um, and then, if you really want to work with sweat, you can do sprints on it, which would be like this, like that. So, typically, I'll try to sprint on it four, four or five times during my workout, and the sprint will usually last maybe about 10 to 20 seconds, and it'll really work you out. And that's what'll get the sweat pumping. So, something like this. All right, so that's pretty much it. You can make up a million different routines on this thing. And it's really fun, it's super easy. And uh, that is the best exercise to get your lymph system moving. I'm a little sweaty and out of breath, but that's it. Okay, so let me show you how to fold this one up. I've got a um, tri-fold rebounder, which is really cool because it folds up really small. I can fit it under my bed. It's portable, it's lightweight, it comes with a carrying case. And so anyway, you saw me unfold it and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fold back up. The first thing you do is you put the legs back where they go little twist 
and then you lay it flat and you put your feet right by the hinges and there's two main hinges right here and then what I do is I just grab two of the legs give them a yank like that and that folds it in half and it breaks the uh, tension and then folds it like that it's a pretty ingenious design and then I've got this carrying case here That's it. And this particular rebounder actually comes with a dolly with wheels. I didn't bring it, uh, but you can, it's actually got a rolling dolly on top of that. But it's uh, pretty lightweight, and so it's pretty, pretty easy to take with you when you travel like I did this weekend. Um, okay, so last thing, I am going to post this video. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or somewhere else, and you want to find out more about rebounding and rebounding science, I'm going to put links in a post on my blog, which is crispycancer.com. Uh, and this particular post will be crispycancer.com slash rebounding. So you can go there, this video will be there. Um, there'll be links to, to just lots of links about rebounding if you want to really learn about it. And uh, NASA actually studied it and it's pretty amazing stuff. And uh, where you can get the kind of rebounder I use. And, and you don't have to buy the, buy the kind I use. There's a lot of good brands. And so I'll kind of mention those in the post as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, feel free to share this video and subscribe to me on YouTube. And thanks so much. Take care.